I don't even have an oven. I'm making a casserole and I don't have an oven. What's up you guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a full installment of Home Cooking with Hannah. I don't know if I've ever done a full episode that was episode, a full video that was just cooking, but I've been including my cooking segments in my vlogs here and there, mainly ever since I moved like 10 months ago out on my own for the first time, which by the way, if you're new here, hi, my name is Hannah. I'm 23 years old. I live in New York City. I've been here about 10 months. This apartment that you're seeing me in is my first ever apartment that I've lived in by myself away from home. So there's been a giant learning curve and one of the things that I have been learning to do more, obviously, since I live alone is cooking. For some reason, y'all seem to really like the cooking segments that I include in my vlog, so I thought it'd be fun to do a whole video that was just us cooking it together. <laughs> I'm making a new recipe tonight. It's one that I've had before. My mom made all the time when I lived at home but I've never made it myself. This recipe is coming from my cookbook that my mom gave me for Christmas, not last year, but the year before. It literally is the sweetest thing that's ever been gifted to me in my life. She wrote a bunch of my favorite recipes from home in this cookbook, basically like an anticipation for me moving out so that I would be able to have a taste of home with me and like be able to learn how to make my favorites that she made by myself. I literally sobbed when she gave me this, like, yeah. Anyway, today's recipe, we're gonna be cooking chicken casserole for dinner. It says this is from the kitchen of my aunt, actually. My aunt made this a lot, and then my mom started making it, and now we're gonna make it together. I'm excited, I hope you guys are excited. It's already 5.23, I hope I can eat by eight. You never know with me, if, you're, if you haven't seen a video of mine before. I am the slowest cooker of all time, because I like to have everything ready and on hand, and then I can just like add it all together, and follow the recipe. The multitasking part, really, I haven't gotten down yet. I'm very much a beginner. I'm working on it, but the multitasking does overwhelm me. I mean, I've tried to dabble with it here and there, but it just stresses me out, and I don't want to be stressed out. Like, I want to have a good time. Speaking of that, I'm gonna crack open a drink. <laughs> this is my channel. I can do what I want. I'm 23. I'm gonna drink one of these. <laughs> Cut water, mango margarita. Cheers, bitches. It's five o'clock here. Oh girl, this is 12.5%. All right, let's get started. I wish I had a hat, like one of those white ones that like the chefs wear. This apron was gifted to me by Microsoft, actually. They sent me um, the coolest like package last year around the holidays and this apron was in it and it's embroidered with my name. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Let's get the ingredients. First and most important for the chicken casserole, we have chicken, duh. All natural, bone in, skin on, chicken thighs from Trader Joe's. We have a 16 ounce container of sour cream. Oh, cheese. Because what's a casserole without cheese? Not a casserole. Eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. I got a block and I'm gonna shred it myself because when I made my shrimp alfredo a couple vlogs ago, they recommended to do that. I mean, obviously this is a very different dish than a shrimp alfredo, but I just loved the way that it melted and how it tasted, it was amazing. It combined so nicely. So I just decided to do that with this instead of buying a bag of already shredded cheddar. Egg noodles, those are in here, I think. Excuse me while I move this little cart because I don't have any counter space in here. My apartment is 400 square feet. I only have one block of counter space and it is occupied by my makeshift oven because I don't even have an oven. I'm making a casserole and I don't have an oven. Instead of having an oven, I have a Ninja 10 in one thing, which one of the functions is to bake. You just have to like adjust the time a little bit. I don't know. I'm nervous. I know we haven't even gotten to that part yet, but like this is like my pregame press conference. I don't know how that's gonna go. I don't know how to estimate the time. Obviously it's all gonna be cooked though. Like the chicken will be cooked fully and the egg noodles will be cooked. It's not like I'm gonna get like salmonella or anything because everything will be fully cooked. That's fine. I have a package of egg noodles, two cans of soup. I think those are up here. Oh, and my breadcrumbs are up here. We have a can of cream of chicken soup and a can of cream of mushroom soup and a thing of Italian style breadcrumbs. I think that's it. I'm gonna need a tablespoon of butter, but I'll get that out when I need it. Not many ingredients, very simple. Hopefully 
in theory. All right, so let's begin. The first direction is to boil the chicken. Now, I have never in my life boiled chicken. I just cook it on the stove or I bake it. I have never boiled chicken. I don't even exactly know how to go about doing that. I think I'm gonna use my phone a friend. Ah, this bitch! My mom just declined my FaceTime. She's at the eye doctor. Are you shitting me? Girl, she didn't know that I was doing this right this second, but still, that's very rude. All right, we're gonna figure it out though. Put it in a pot with water and boil it. Okay, but do you boil the water first? How do you know when it's done? I have a hard time telling when chicken is done regardless. What do I look like boiling chicken? Like, excuse me, what is this? 1600s? Fun fact that no one asked for, I just bought new cookware. This is not sponsored, but um, these are from Caraway. This is my first time using this pot. So, very special. I guess I should fill the pot up with water first. I literally asked my mom three different questions and she just responded yes. All right, so it says bring to a boil, then cover it and reduce heat to medium. I can do that. The recipe calls for six chicken thighs. In the meantime, I'm gonna turn my air conditioner back on because I turned it off for this video because it's it's literally situated right behind the camera, but I'm now starting to sweat. I also have my headphones and I'm going to put them in and listen to a podcast while I do this because that is what I usually do when I'm cooking. Ew, I f***ing hate touching raw chicken. Okay, update. So there were only four four chickens in there. Hopefully that's okay. I mean, they seem big. Is that okay? I didn't know. I couldn't f tell how many were in there. That's a lot of water, so I feel like that's probably gonna take a hot minute to boil. While I'm waiting for that to boil, I'm going to shred the cheese a while, because why not? I need to use the whole thing, so I'm just gonna go to town. Guys, I think we have a special guest who would like to say hello. Come here. Ooh. Here she is. Hi. Hi, Charlie girl. I mean, it looks done. Ooh, wait, did I do it? Oh, Ew, the skin is f***ing gross. This looks actually cooked, like, pause. <gasps> f*** off. I did it. Oh my God, okay. I'm so proud of myself. Oh my God. Ah, you learn something new every day, bitches. It definitely smelled interesting. Okay. Got all the chicken. You can't see me, that's okay though. The internet said to like get a strainer and collect the shit that like the foam on top. I don't know. All right, so now I need to cook the noodles, package of egg noodles in this, in the broth. Hi Charlie, what are you doing, queen? And we're gonna wait for it to reboil. Once that is boiling, I'm gonna put the pasta in. Set the timer for probably eight minutes. I'm gonna shred up the chicken and take the skins and whatnot off. Right, Charlie, is that what we're gonna do? I unlocked a new skill. I'm proud of myself for that. I also read that bone in, skin on chicken, like I just used, is less likely to overcook and become rubbery. So, something to keep in mind. 
I'm kind of doing a lot right now and I didn't explain it. So, hello, it's me. While the noodles are cooking, I am combining the chicken that I just shredded in a large mixing bowl and I'm taking the rest of the ingredients, sour cream, cheese, and the two cans of soup, and I'm just combining all of them together, mixing them up. And then once the noodles are done in just a little bit, I'm gonna add that to the bowl as well, mix all of that up, and that's really it. Maybe this was not the right tool to use. God, I'm not strong enough for this. noodles to make up for the fact that I only have four chickens. Now we mix. Like this is an arm workout you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Like who needs the gym? Not like I got anybody. All right next step is to put as much of this shit as possible into a 9 by 13 inch baking dish pan Thing. Mom said I didn't have to grease it, just like throw it in there, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> F it, I'm throwing the whole mother thing. Beautiful. So beautiful. All right, the last step before I pop this baby in the oven is I need to get some breadcrumbs going. I'm just gonna do this in like a normal bowl. It says melt one tablespoon of butter and combine it with one cup of breadcrumbs. So, I just have these Italian style breadcrumbs that I got from Target. I'm gonna measure out one cup of these. I'm excited, guys. I'm getting excited. <laughs> that seems like a lot, <laughs> but that's one cup. One tablespoon. Yes, I'm just gonna cut this on the counter because I don't care. Okay. I'll go in the same place. That'll do it. Now, here's the part I'm not too sure about, and that is the cooking time and temperature. Typically what I do is just lower the temperature by 25 degrees and then cook it at the same time because that's what the internet told me to do. Maybe I'll just do that. It says bake at 350 for 30 minutes. I'm gonna bake it at 325 for 30 minutes. Reason being, this is a convection oven, not a convention oven. So convection ovens cook faster. 325 seems kind of low, but you know, whatever. For 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna reevaluate after 30 minutes and see if it's done. The issue is really the middle. The sides tend to be done at that point, but I'm nervous about the middle. And I only say this because I've made brownies before in this same pan using the same thing and like the middle was very much liquidy. So that's why I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm gonna reevaluate after 30 minutes and see if I need to put it in longer. I mean, worst case scenario, like it is all cooked already. Chicken is cooked, which is like the most important part because I'm not trying to die. We're gonna pop that in. And we're gonna hope for the best. 325 for 30 minutes. It's gonna preheat. I've been filming for two hours. It's probably just because I'm the slowest cook in the world and I'm also filming, so it takes longer when I'm filming than if I wasn't, but dude. I think that I'm gonna challenge myself in the next 30 minutes to clean as much as possible. I also wanna make peas. I feel like peas would be really good with this. It's already 7.30. Like, do I need peas? Like, I kinda want them though. Hold on, you're in the way of the freezer actually. 
four peas and a quarter cup of water into a microwave safe dish heat on high for three to four minutes or to desired tenderness okay i'll just use the rest of this bag pretty sure i got this ages ago hopefully they're not freezer burnt it says best by 523 like that's next year i should be okay i'm gonna take this apron off too because i am sweating in fact my chefing is done for right now she started cooking let's clean This light has to go, has to go, sorry. Oh God, that's so much better. I'm starting to lose my sense of reality. What the f I'm so f sorry. I literally just broke this from washing it. Um, red flag. Like, <laughs> what the f was that? Hopefully, super glue will reattach it, but also not that serious. So dramatic. <laughs> done the 30 minutes it's actually done it doesn't look dumb maybe i will turn it around oh it smells good as shit i'm gonna put it in for five more minutes and then if it still doesn't look done i'll just do five minute increments from there so and in the meantime i'm gonna make some peas said a quarter cup of water i don't know how many can fit in this bowl in for four minutes okay done again I'm gonna call my mom Hi. how do I know when it's done how long has it been in there 30 minutes but then it didn't look done so I put it in for five more oh, that's looking nice honey is it got a little bit of brown on the that? golden brown is in the corners but so I flipped yeah. it around but yeah. I don't know about the middle that's the problem the right and the whole top sort of gets a little bit brown and then I, you know, I, I don't know if it bubbles. I, it's been a while since I've made it. Five more. Real, Five more. Minutes. Minutes. Oh, now they're done. Cool. I need to salt the peas. Probably butter the peas as well. I feel very professional with these hot pans. And then when that comes out, I'll put it on this one. I'm proud of myself for cleaning the kitchen though, you guys. Not gonna lie. I feel so good. Smells good. It's definitely bubbling. My mom said something about bubbling. I hear it bubbling. Just as I suspected, the corners are definitely done. It's the middle that I'm nervous about. I could probably get away with putting it in for five more minutes. See, this is where I struggle. F it. I'm doing it for five more minutes. Just five more minutes. I mean, it's already been three hours, so what's five more minutes, you know? Guys, I'm getting tired. It's only 8 o'clock. I'm ready for bed. Here we go again. I still can't believe my strainer thing broke. Like, what was that? My mom was like, usually the whole top gets brown. I'm like, nah, that ain't gonna happen for me, chief. A bitch is done. I mean, I hear it, so that has to mean something's going on. Charlie! I hear it. I think it's done. This. It's done. I'm sick of this shit. I don't want to do this anymore.
Here's the finished product, babes. Got some peas. I actually like to mix the peas in. I'm feeling crazy. Peas are a great addition to this casserole, if you ask me. I'm just gonna take from the corner, because if the metal isn't cooked, that's none of my business. Ooh, ah. Probably could've used a spoon for this, but. I'm not very good at the whole plating thing to make it look cute, but I don't really give a f I'm just hungry at this point. It's been three hours. Let's go sit down at the table and do a taste test. Hey, we're gonna try this bitch. I'm gonna send a picture to my mom first. You know what, I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off because I'm hungry and I really wanna turn on Gilmore Girls. And the longer I sit here and stall, the less time I'm watching Gilmore Girls, you know? I think I did it. How did I pull that off? Could it be the three hours of work that I just put in? Am I a chef? Like, be honest. Don't be honest. I did it. <laughs> I'm unstoppable. I just am, like, you know, I amaze myself. Ah, the peas mixed in is so good. I learned how to boil chicken and I slayed. Thank you. I'm gonna turn Gilmore Girls on now because there's nothing in this world that I would love to do more than sit here, eat this. This is comfort food to me and watch Gilmore Girls. Even though I just started it and I'm only on season two, I think I'm about to be on season three, but that's besides the point. This show just feels comforting to me. It feels like a hug and watching a comfort show while eating comfort food, this is the greatest feeling ever. All right, bye.